everyone so today I'm doing another face mask review on this mask here which I featured in my Sephora haul recently I asked you guys if you wanted to see a first impression on this and a lot of you did say yes so I'm doing it today because my skin is crap I'll show you a close-up very soon it's so bumpy and just rough and dull looking so I'm hoping that this will transform my skin and be amazing but who knows because it looks really weird it's called a rubber mask a clear skin clearing wrapping rubber mask to tighten and deep cleanse your pores by Dr. Jart. It is made in Korea. It comes with an ampoule pack. Ampoule? Um, I don't know how to pronounce that word. And a clearing wrapping rubber mask, which sounds creepy. It sounds very serial killer-ish. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. But then again, it's made in Korea. I trust the Koreans with their skincare. I love Korean face masks like clay masks, paper masks. So hopefully the rubber mask will be good as well. I'm pretty sure this one's actually quite expensive though so it better be worth it let me just look it up quick okay i'm on sephora's website it's 12 dollars on sephora it's actually rated four and a half stars out of five which is not bad this is a one time mask so you're paying 12 dollars for one mask which in the scheme of things is quite expensive considering you could spend 12 to 20 bucks on a clay mask and that'll last you for ages so I don't know. Let's just give this a go. So it says after cleansing, which I've just done, massage step one, ampoule pack. I don't know how to pronounce that word, I'm sorry. Onto skin to nourish. All right, let's do it. So here we go. Step one, it's got an expiry date on it, which is quite reassuring. Intensive clearing ampoule pack. Oh wait, 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 wait. First, let me do a close up so we can do a little before and after. And I am going to keep the exposure quite low so you can see everything. So I don't know if you can see over my nose, I have quite a lot of like blackheads just here. Look at that huge one right there. And on my chin, I've got a little bit of redness, some breakouts kind of popping up. I know my skin's not terrible, but this is the worst my skin has been in a few weeks. So it's the perfect time to try out this mask. I always wait until my skin's playing up to do these videos so that we're really putting them to the test. On my forehead, it's hard to see, but I've got this pimple just here the skin's very rough you have to take my word for it it feels really like flaky and kind of dry just very textured and very bumpy I am really excited for this so I'm going to open up at step one can we just like talk about how creepy this like picture is it really scares me a lot oh okay so it's kind of like a moisturizer product here's how it looks it's gonna be hard to see since it's white so I'm just gonna wipe it oh okay smells very clean and fresh it smells quite professional i know that sounds weird but it kind of smells like that kind of professional skincare scent that you often smell when you're getting a facial it's so weird i'm like rubbing it in but my hands are just like it doesn't feel like it's soaking in it's just kind of sitting on top of my skin and it feels really strange i don't know how else to explain it like i rub 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 and it doesn't go anywhere it just sits there what the heck anyway i'll put this all over my face it's quite thick in here like it looks like curdled cottage cheese is very strange it feels really cooling and nice though it says that there are purifying ingredients in this the purifying ingredients are gently absorbed into the skin pore cleansing complex of plant extracts green tea grape persimmon cleanses the pores to visibly enhance the skin's complexion that's what we're doing right now look at this this is like kind of nasty like i don't know <laughs> I feel like there's way too much in this little pack because I've used barely any and I've gone over my entire face and it feels very thick and slimy. I'm going to put extra on my areas where I've got really bad pores, so on my chin especially. That's where I get blackheads a lot. And then also on my nose. Hopefully I haven't used too much. It feels really wet on my skin. Like not wet wet, not dripping wet, just like damp like i've got snot all over my face or something it's really strange <laughs> okay step two clearing wrapping rubber mask the exciting part rubber mask sheet prevents nourishing ingredients from evaporating and soothes the dry skin so i'm guessing it pretty much tracks this into your skin maybe this is the active ingredient and the rubber mask just kind of puts it on your face and makes it sink in cleansing ingredients are absorbed deep into the pores to clean from the inside out marine moisturizing ingredients spirulina kelp sea lettuce seaweed sea mustard <laughs> Soothe any irritation caused by dryness. This mask sounds perfect for my skin right now. Like, it's clarifying. I'm just gonna, like, actually put a crap ton of this on since I'm putting the rubber mask on top. I don't know if this is right or not, but I don't know why they'd give you so much if, like, you weren't supposed to use it all since it's a one-time mask. Surely you're supposed to use it all. This definitely feels like something I should be rinsing off my skin, so it would be interesting to see if it really soaks in. 
I kind of thought it was like a moisturizer. Like, I don't know. It's the first time I'm ever using anything like this, clearly. Okay, now the mask is in the little box and it looks like this. Clear Skin Lover Rubber Mask. Oh, it feels like it's like dripping everywhere. It's so weird. This is strange. Okay, so this looks like wet also. It's like kind of hard to pull out. Oh, this is so weird. So you have like a wrapper around the outside. Okay, yeah, this is like rubber. It's like jelly and it's kind of slimy also, so... The pressure is on to make this look not creepy, but it's impossible. Ooh, it feels so cooling. I like it. Batman. Then we have the little bed part. So I'll just put this on my bed now. Weird. I feel like it's gonna like slip off my face. It's not like sticking. Okay, maybe now. So now I leave this on for 30 to 40 minutes. It says you can just leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and then remove it gently, massage the remaining ampoule, um, ampoule, I don't, uh, why have I never like learned how to pronounce this word before? I've never heard it before, it's so random. This may be left on for up to 40 minutes for maximum hydration, which I might try and do because as I said, my skin feels like crap. It's like dry, flaky, it's textured, it's bumpy, there's acne, there's black, like I've got everything right now. It says tip, you can use remaining ampoule pack on your neck and arms as well well I have none left now so YOLO okay so I'll come back in 30 to 40 minutes and we will take it off and see how my skin looks afterwards hopefully there is a visible difference and I'll be able to tell you if there is a difference in like the feel of my skin also hey everyone so I'm back now I actually left it on for about 50 minutes so whoops it's been a little bit longer than it says but surely that cannot be a bad thing so basically it stuck pretty well a couple of times it kind of like started falling off just down here like this bit but other than that it really stuck this top one stuck so good which i'm surprised about because it's quite like slippery feeling so i thought it would just fall off my face you know what i mean so i'm happy about that the only thing i would say is make sure you actually wear your hair up in like a ponytail or a bun because every little hair that like flicks onto it just gets like stuck it's just like super attracted to the texture so i've got like hairs all over it it's fine you can pull them off but it's just kind of annoying so i'm gonna zoom you in and we're gonna take this off and see how my skin looks straight after this okay so i'll take off the bottom one first yeah see this is like still full on sitting on my skin it says to massage the extra in oh it seems to be like soaking in easier now that's weird you know how before it like wasn't soaking in now when i massage it it just kind of i don't know soaks in that's good a little bit pink from massaging my face but that obviously go away and this is how the face mask looks when you take it off if you're curious it just looks the same as when you put it on except it's got a little bit of product on it so i'm just going to massage in the extra like it says yeah it's so much easier to massage now now that it's been sitting on my skin my skin doesn't really feel softer which i'm kind of not surprised because like how is this supposed to soften your skin like when it's not clay or exfoliating or you know but it does feel very plump so not soft but plump, very like, I don't know, bouncy. <laughs> it's a little bit sticky still at this stage, but that should go away once it soaks in a bit more. I think my skin looks really radiant. It looks really glowy and that's before moisturizing. Like it definitely feels like a really nice kind of soothing formula. I don't know how like this is supposed to clear your skin, but let's do a little close up and see if there's any difference in my blackheads on my nose and like the pimples on my chin. I'll do a little side by side because looking in the mirror right now, I can't really tell the difference to be honest. So you can see all of the little, don't mind my nail by the way, you can see all the little like blackhead bits still. I don't think they look any better to be honest. Like, I feel like I need a proper clay mask to get that off. Like, a proper exfoliating volcanic clay mask or something like that. Because those do the job perfectly for me. I've purposefully not done one in a few days. So, to be honest, I'll probably do a clay mask tonight. Because I'm annoyed that it didn't do anything. And this breakout here looks more or less the exact same. Um, on my chin, it looks more or less the exact same. The only difference is my skin looks a lot more illuminated and glowy. And I think that's purely because of the amp ampule. Ampole. What is it? Ampole pack. The like serum stuff that I put on. Like, you know, it's making my skin look glowy. Just like if you put on any moisturizer or any serum or anything. Other than that, my skin feels very similar. It just feels plump. That's the only difference. So that is a little bit of a bummer to be honest. I really wanted it to work. I do feel like my skin looks really nice, but is it worth $12 for one use? I wouldn't buy it again, to be honest. I would rather just invest in a good clay mask because 
this could get expensive if you're doing one of these a week 12 bucks you know it just looks like i've moisturized i don't know i'm just gonna put on some moisturizer for fun as well so this is the glam glow illuminating moisturizer in nude glow this does give you a shine because it's got like little pigments in it but i just feel like wearing this because i love the way it makes my skin look so this makes you look even more illuminated i'll do it on one side so you can see the difference is this dr jart clear skin rubber mask worth it in my opinion, no. So that's how the Illuminate looks. And this is how my skin looks with nothing. To be honest, I would even say that a normal sheet mask is more beneficial for my skin. I get more moisture and more glow out of a sheet mask. Definitely did nothing to help clear my skin straight away anyway. I mean, maybe it works over time. I don't know, but I'm not like reviewing it over time. I'm reviewing it as a first impression. And when I use a clay mask on my skin, you can see the difference instantly. So it's just super unsatisfying. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you were curious on this product, that is my two cents. Obviously you can do some more research into the product because I mean, so many other people loved it. I wanna actually pull up the reviews real quick so one person gave it five stars they said that when they used this face mask the redness from their spots was reduced and needless to say I don't think I agree because like this is still very red these are still very red I don't feel like they really look that much different I mean, obviously everything works different for different people. Some people just say it's like, okay. Someone here said, I didn't notice much of a difference in my skin, but it did feel refreshed. I would agree with that. And it didn't really do much for breakouts. So I guess it just is different person to person. Obviously, this is just my review. Make sure you research. That's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And let me know what you want me to do a review on next. I do have those eyebrow stamps. So if you're still interested in seeing that, I can do that soon. Yeah, I will talk to you guys soon.